Hi, my name's Richard Enyon. My name's Michael Davis. I'm the musical director. Our company's called Bass Tone Slap. We create a positive, energetic sound. And we're here today offering you 10% equity for an investment of £50,000. The two main services we offer are corporate team building and drumming for entertainment and experiential marketing. I proudly give you Bass Tone Slap. Thank you. Our team of the clients have included Citigroup, Unilever and the Tower 42 management team. And last year one of the world's top marketing agencies selected us to <coughs> record part of the soundtrack and appear in the latest Cadbury Whisper advert. Prices range between £1,000 and £3,700 with a profit margin <laughs> of between 40 and 60%. Before we open up the floor to your questions, I'd like to thank my band. Thank you, guys. If you... Would any of you guys like to have a go? Yeah. Theo and I give it a go, won't we? Well, no more takers? We, we've, we've laid Deborah, on the... We've laid, come on, yes. We've laid we on the bed together. Yes. <laughs> yeah. James, <laughs> James Duncan. No, I'll pass on this, thank you. James, I know you've got a little wild side. Come on. <laughs> Good man. Tear pressure. We need my sticks. Deborah, here you go. It's all right. Thank you. Pleasure. Okay, so what I'd like to do, I'm going to count up to four and we're just going to start, okay? One, two, three, four. Richard Enyon, Michael Davis and their drummers have delivered an energetic pitch for £50,000 to expand their team-building business. But one dragon's looking sceptical. What experience have you got that gives you the ability to be a corporate team-builder? OK. Um... My experience is not in the corporate world, but my experience is in playing music. And you saw earlier how we got you guys to drum together. That's the essence of what we do. Well, you got those four guys to drum together. Yeah. Whether or not they thought that was good corporate team building or not is, is another thing. But what makes you feel that you can, you can build teams in a corporate world by getting people to play their drums? It's a good question. Well, yeah, I mean, tr tr drumming unites people. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe team building is about uniting people in their direction and by playing a piece of music together we're playing one thing we have one common focus so what happens at the corporate team building event the people arrive people arrive um, we walk in throw in a few icebreakers do a bit of body percussion get the rhythms moving what's the body percussion uh, a little example <laughs> yeah. yes please okay, okay. are you gonna join in as well Duncan no nope. okay it's fine guys madam uh, just just go with me. Richard just just so that you know okay yeah I'm here to look for serious investments. Of course. I'm not here to have fun and play the drums. Okay. okay. Carry on with your that doesn't play demonstration. Okay. So, the, the complete icebreaker. Ready? Just go with it. <laughs> Guys, I'm counting on you to hold that. <laughs> okay, pretty basic. A little bit of clapping, a little bit of stamping. That goes straight onto the drums. Was Might that it? Imagine with a group of 100 people doing that, splitting the group up. That was corporate team building. That that, do you feel as if you've been corporately team built? Mm. Duncan Bannatyne's cynicism seems to be infectious. Will James Kahn find the duo's financial situation more convincing? In the last 12 months, what have you guys generated as income? Turnover 10,000. OK. In the next 12 months, what will the band generate? We anticipate turning over 120,000 with okay. a 
net profit of £20,000. Richard, do you want to be... I'm going to give you another chance okay. for that okay. question, okay. because if you get that wrong, the chances are you won't get an investment. You're going to go from 10000 to 120000 How are you going to achieve that? Over that 12-month period we've just experienced, we've been building up our brand. We're at a stage now where we've got strong testimonials from some of the world's biggest companies. As I said, we did the Cadbury's advert. We're predicting uh, 70 events for the first 12 months. That is almost on target for 120,000. OK. The projections seem ambitious, but not far-fetched. Deborah Meaden wants to find out about the competition. Who gets the business? Who actually goes out and generates the business? I would go out and get the clients, see them, and then talk about what they want from the session, uh, talk about fees, negotiate. Who else does this? I mean, there, there, are, there are other... Yeah. The biggest company's been running for 12 years and they've got franchises in, I think, 26 companies. And do you know the terms of that franchise? As in how much they... Their yeah, I do, I do, actually, yeah. The franchise is sold for 100,000. Mm. Eh? Hey? Yeah. We picked their brains at a trade fair a couple of years ago. Revelations about their competitors' success has whetted the dragon's appetite about the potential size of this market. But will it be enough to change the mind of an initially dismissive Duncan Bannatyne? When you came in and you played the drums, I mean, you described it, Richard, as um, energetic and positive. And I wrote down one word as to how I felt about it. The word I wrote down wasn't positive and it wasn't energetic. What do you think it was? Exciting. Has it a guess? I'm scared of guessing, to be honest. <laughs> Go on, tell us, please. Horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> OK. And then you got these four up, and they played the drums. So I thought, well, I'd better write down just how this feels. What do you think I wrote down? It wasn't energetic, it wasn't positive. Different from horrendous. Even more horrendous is what I wrote down. I'm out. Well, let me tell you where I am, guys. This is nothing against you. I mean, I think this is a, a good idea, but I can't see any value being created from a business point of view other than having fun. So I'd like to declare myself out. Two dragons out, and the duo are starting to sound less confident. Now, they have to face the scrutiny of Peter Jones. I think you are a breath of fresh air. Thanks. Thank you. I really, really, really do. I absolutely got it. I've been to three or four team-building events. Um, I have not come across drums before, but I've come across the most ridiculous ideas that, when you went with it, you thought, what on earth am I doing? This is a complete waste of time. Within 20 minutes, you're in, you're all mixing in together, you're talking to people that actually you don't, didn't really like before. And obviously, I own with Theo an events company. We're always looking for new things. So with that in mind, I am going to make you an offer. Half the money for 20%. But my offer is, is conditional upon hearing what Theo wants to do. OK, thanks. Thank you. To the astonishment of some of his rivals, Peter Jones wants to back the duo. But only a fellow dragon, Theo Pafitis, agrees to follow him. What's your background? I trained classically and then did the rock band thing and then found my way to Africa and got into the African thing. Um, but my background have, is... Have you ever had a job? Yeah, as a drummer. I've, I've made my living as a drummer for 12 years. You made a good living? No, I've, I've got by, and this is the point that I'm turning it into making a good living, because I've teamed up with Richard. Right. And how about you, Richard? I uh, started playing kit when I was 12. I uh, went to university, studied business information systems, um, got into the events industry, started doing uh, game-based team-building events, and then met Mikey, uh, found out about the industry of corporate team-building through drumming, saw people were doing it, that the model actually worked, and we thought we'd give it a go. and. That's where we are. OK. Um, I just get the feeling that this is predominantly going to end up being a lifestyle business. It's about people. It's about you too. 
So I need your commitment. You're going to stick with the business till I get my money back. Both of you. You have my commitment. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Then I will match Peter's offer, which is half the money uh, for 20%. The deal on the table is for four times the amount of equity the duo were initially offering. Is Deborah Meaden prepared to compete? If I had a structure that I could immediately put you into, I would be making you an offer. Hmm. But I don't, so I'm afraid for that reason. I won't be investing. But I've had a lot of fun. I'm out. Um, could we just have a little chat? Yeah, you minutes? go have, have a, a chat. Dr okay. Drum away. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks. 40% of the company is a lot more than Richard and Michael originally wanted to give away. Will it be too much? OK, um, we had a little think. And we like your offer, and we appreciate your offer. Um, how negotiable is the percentage? Not at all. It's a huge cut on quite a small business, so that is quite a scary prospect. What, what's a huge cut of nothing? Would, would we I'm be... going to help you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're struggling with the That's answer. That's nothing. Would that tie us exclusively no. to your company? No. No, no, no. Certainly not. Absolutely not. Three seconds. Turn the back. <laughs> We will happily accept your offer. Well, hey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Richard and Mark have done it. They walk away with the £50,000 they need and two well-placed Dragon investors. Three, four. <laughs>